Okay, we're continuing here in the Orchis Yosher in the Midah of Anova of humility, which we said is one of the paradigms that will bring a person into the world of Torah. And he says like this, Rabasi, there is a Masechda called Kala Rabasi, and it says, Afilu Even if a person perfects themselves in every area of Midas, they are perfect in their... All the replete with all the most noble of midas. However, im ein nova. If you're lacking the trait of a nova of humility, atochasa, you're lacking everything. You're incomplete. Person can have all the wonderful things. They can be kind. They can be nice. They can be benevolent. They can be generous. They can be sweet. They can be warm. They can be compassionate. They have all beautiful midas, but they're lacking the trait of a nova of humility. So the chaser says the says the chazal that a person is really lacking. People say the following: Ma gaverab planya, how great would this person be? Ilule gaiv if it wouldn't be for his gaiv and for his hardiness. So the chazal are learning that if you're not an un, if if you're not humble, so then you must be the opposite. The opposite is a person is the bal gaiv has too much, too much conceitedness and hardiness, and arrogance. Says the says further. Ubaavais in Pigavis it says, Ruach Namucha, a lowly spirit, Venefish Vela, and a, uh, a, 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 a I don't know, an unbending soul, so to speak. Mitamid shall Avram Avinu. If your person is lowly, lowly of spirit, which we're learning is humility, then you can guarantee that that person is from the students of Avram Avinu. However, Ruach Gavai Venefish Chava, but an arrogant person and a haughty person. Mitamid of Shabilam Arasha, he is from the students of Bilam Arasha. A Talmud, and before I should point out over here that a Talmud, a student, is someone that is emulating and looking up to the Rebbe, looking up to the person that they're learning from, and they're trying to, in their best way possible, to be like the Rebbe, to be like the, the teacher that they're learning from. A person that is an Anav, it shows that who does he look to, up to in this world? He looks up to Avram Avinu. Avraham Avinu was uh, enormous on him, gigantically humble. So therefore, if you're one of the Tamidim, or you're one of Avraham Avinu's Tamidim, that means that you're someone who's looking up, you want to make yourself like Avram. But a person that is arrogant and haughty, so they are from the Tamidim, they are from the students of Bilam Arasha. That means that a haughty person, an arrogant person, he's looking to Bilam to be his leader, and to be his guide, and to learn from how he should behave in this world. Obviously, not the person that you want to call your Rebbe. Uschara nova amrus besaita. In the Gemara and Saita, it says that the reward for Anivus, for being a humble person, is Mishadaito Shvala Alav, someone who has humility. Malo Alav Akasav Kilu Hikriv Kolakarbanisha Ba'ilam. The Torah looks at this person as if he has brought all of the karbanis, all of the sacrifices in the world. The greatest korban that a person seems that a person could offer is when he's makriv himself, is when he offers himself to on the mizbeach to Hakadosh Baruch Hu. The arrogance that a person has, the zich, the who I am, who I think that I am, the greatness that I have, that gets in the way of all of Eidus Hashem. If a person will humble themselves before the Rebbeinu Nishalim, and they will approach Hakadosh Baruch Hu submissively, and they will submit themselves to Hashem. So then you are eradicating all of the haughtiness, all of the arrogance that is there. And it's kilo, it's as if you brought all the karbanais in the world. The Armun, it says further, call a mashbel atzmai. Anyone who lowers themselves, meaning in humility, hakodesh baruch hu magbiyay hakodesh baruch will lift them up and elevate them. You bring down in this print over here, the Orch is Yosha, many maisim with Rav Chaim Kanievsky, that the truth was, he was in. He was. He excelled tremendously in the area of anava of humility. Although he had hundreds of thousands of people, tens of thousands that would come every year to visit him, although that his house was the address for any major decision that was taking place in Klal Yisrael, and his picture was plastered all over the world, and he knew about all this. It's not like he was sitting there and he had no idea what was going on. He realized that his house was always open. He realized that people were coming in for brachas to save their life. He realized that whatever he said, within a minute, it was all over the, it was all over the world. So you would think a person who has such COVID gets such honor and such glory and is so famous in the world, 
He's got a lot of likes and thumbs up in his like. You would imagine that he would be like the most arrogant person in the world. And yet all the stories of Rav Chaim Kanievsky is that his anivus, his humility, was legendary. So he, he says over here that Rav Chaim said that he had the custom by the Shema every single day, it's a pell of this, he, every single day that he would say Shema in, in the shul, he would say the words, Kel Melech Ne'eman, before reciting the Shema. Now normally the halach is that when you're, when you're with a minion, and you're saying Shema together with a minion. So the Shlich Sibar says, at the end of the, at the end of the Shema, he says, Hashem Elokeichem, Emes. So you get those three words in to add up to the 248 words that you need. However, if you're davening by yourself, so you're not going to hear the words, Hashem Elokeichem, Emes. So therefore, in the beginning of the Shema, when we're by ourselves, we're supposed to say the words, Kel Melech Ne'eman, those three words. And Chaim Kanievsky said, Every time that he said the Shema, and he was always davening with a minion. The Chaim wasn't the guy who was davening in his skivvies in, the, in his living room over there. He was davening with a minion every single day, three times a day. He always said, Kel Melech Neman. So they looked at him very quizzically. This is what you say when you're by yourself. Why are you saying Kel Melech Neman when you're together with the Tzibor? So he said like this. He said, either he doesn't hear the three words of the Chazan because he's still... In, he's, still in, he's still busy saying the Kriya Shema, or, oh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, either his, he doesn't hear well enough to hear what the Chazan is saying, or he's in the middle of saying Kriya Shema when the Chazan says, Kel Melech Neman. So he doesn't finish together with the Chazan, so he's still in the midst, so he loses out on the three words, so he has to say it to himself. Somebody asked him, but Rebbe, the Shalich Sibor, the one who's in the davening, he always waits for you to finish Shema. Before he says, before he says, Hashem lo emes, before he says the three words. So you're never in the middle, and you can always hear what he has to say. So Chaim looked in astonishment. He says, they wait for me? What do you mean they wait for me? He says, and anyway, how did he even know when I'm finished saying the Shema? He was, no airs about him. He had, he's the God of door. He's sitting in the front of the shul. He took over his father's shteller in the Letterman shul where he davened at. He had no idea that the shleich Sibur was waiting by every single tefillah for him to finish Shema and for every tefillah to finish Shema Nesrei. That's the anivus, that's the level of the, uh, of the humility that he had. So that's what it's saying over here. Kol bel anybody who lowers themselves, HaKadosh Baruch Hu Magbi, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will lift them up. And that's why we see that in our generation, I'm not sure that there was anybody that was lifted up as much in the eyes of Klal Yisrael as he was. His Leviya, the rough estimate is 750,000 people came to pay their last respects, and it could be that it was even closer to a million. So if you are humble yourself all of your life, HaKadosh Baruch Hu sees to it that somehow that covet, somehow that honor is going to reach the world and our Kodesh Baruch will lift you up in the eyes of, of everyone else. Fascinating. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow.